In Affinity Photo, you can modify gradient fill layers in all kinds of ways. You can create some really, truly weird gradients very quickly and easily. Well, let's just go right to the start. Go to the Layer menu, and then you go down to New Fill Layer. So select that. Then, once you've done that, go to the Gradient Tool, and simply drag. And it defaults to Linear. Well, what you can do, click here, go to Swatches, and you can select a swatch. I'm just going to go with something like that. Of course, the gradients you've got will probably be different, and you can still continue to manipulate this. But also, you can modify this using things like displacement maps. So let's just go with this selected. Let's simply go here to a layer, new light filter layer, and down to distort and displace and apply it. And you can modify the strength. Nothing happens. Low map from layers beneath. Nothing happens. Very odd. Well, there is a workaround. Just make certain it's just not there beneath that. If you do that, just doesn't seem to work because this fill has got no pixel information. So you need to just drag it above, put it there. Now the effect works in the way that you think it should. So double click and then just change this strength. You can see as you change it, the result completely different. And also low map from file or low map from layers beneath. Well, what you can also do is you can manipulate the fill. So as you do this, so you change it, the result is some quite different sort of gradient designs. And you can just manipulate it, create that sort of design, sort of, I don't know, graph design. Well, what you can also do is you can go to this displace map, or obviously not select anything. You can always go to layer and new layer filter layer, distort, maybe go for 12, or maybe duplicate displacement map, a multiple. So 12, and with 12, you can change the angle, radius and so on you can result something like that and also you can change blend mode so as you change that you can see get that kind of effect still go here to the fill and you can still manipulate this and move that around to create some really interesting combinations of gradient effects however what you can also do is actually create real combinations by simply right clicking and just go down here and duplicate so you've got two now See, at the moment it's exactly the same. You can change origin point and also go up here, it makes it in the blend modes. So go up, down, there, and just go say difference, or maybe go for soft light and so on. Maybe something like that, lighten. And you can still can change this, but you can also go here and change that as well as twirl or remove them. Simply just go down to the bottom, any point, and you can see you can delete it. So just delete that. Ooh, didn't want that. Also, what you can do is you can select them all and layer and merge visible. Merge visible works better than rasterizing. For some weird reason, the rasterize, grouping and rasterizing seems to distort the design so it doesn't actually end up looking like this. You get a different result. I don't know what happens, but it does seem to make a bit of a mess of it, unfortunately. So now with this pixel layer, you can then, of course, apply other normal filters, also that, or go, go to layer and down a new and create some more additional live filter layers for it. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.